everyone. Welcome to East West Horizon. I'm Sylvia Tian. German Chancellor Schwartz visited China on Friday. He went on a ice-breaking journey this time. By breaking the ice of the COVID-19 pandemic in leaders' communication, and also breaking the ice of a politicized China's rise by Western allies. Mr. Schwartz put business first and Germany first in developing cooperation with China. Mr. Schwartz's visit to China is the first by a leader of a European country since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in early 2020. It also is Mr. Schwartz's first visit to China since he took office in 2021. Like most countries in Europe, Germany made a 180-degree turn on energy supply after Merkel left office, and the result was catastrophe. A lot of century-old German companies went bankrupt this year, right after Germany switched its energy import from neighbor Russia to the United States in thousand miles away, which apparently sells energy with special high price to its friends in need. After this man-made energy crisis happening in German manufacturing industry, its biggest market and the trade partner, China, is labeled as a threat to the Western world by Germany's allies. Will Germany cut off its market at this time and turn 180 degree again? Maybe not. Well, for the German economy, a decoupling uh, from the Chinese business would be a disaster given the current situation anyway. A lower consumption in Germany, reduction of consumption in Europe, uh, complicated world markets. So if we would lose the Chinese business, uh, both as it relates to uh, raw materials as much as selling products to China or in China, it would not allow the German SME business to come back to strength. Uh, it would further weaken uh, the German uh, SME business. And as such, we can only recommend and advise uh, the Chancellor that every effort is done, that in China, the discussions uh, will go to a good end. Economic cooperation remained the main focus of this visit. Mr. Schwartz was accompanied by chief executives from a dozen German companies. In addition to a BioNTech chief executive, Mr. Schwartz was joined by the heads of chemical giant, base of SE, financial giants, Deutsche Bank AG, and automaker Volkswagen AG, which makes 40% of its sales in China. Well, 40% of some of the large companies do trade in China. Volkswagen is one example. But another very important element of our collaboration with China as German SMEs is we need the raw materials. It's not only the market to sell, it is also the raw materials, the components that we need from China and makes China a very important bilateral partner of Germany. China remains the biggest growing market for many German companies. Mr. Schwartz's visit complete with a business delegation is a sign to some observers that the Chancellor is willing to pursue what Beijing calls an independent policy, even over the opposition of Western allies and members of its own cabinet. Reported by the Wall Street Journal. Uh, German companies that are located and have invested in, in China and uh, over 50% uh, of them have been here in the market longer than 15 years. And um, so, as you said, we're looking back at uh, 50 years of bilateral uh, relations. German uh, business have been a backbone of this uh, relations and have been very successful here. Western media are collectively biased in reporting this news. The news headlines explain what they think is the core of Mr. Schwartz's visit to China and what are the secondary issues. For example, the BBC headline is Schwartz asked China to press Russia to end its war. Well, Mr. Schwartz can do so without flying to China in person and accompanied 
with dozen CEOs, right? Reuters headline is Xi Shores warn against irresponsible nuclear threats over Ukraine. Will Ukraine war be the core subject of this visit? The Guardian, NPR, Fox News, and all other news deliberately ignore the focus of the visit and talked about Russia and Putin's war and Ukraine crisis. In fact, they deliberately misled public in focusing on the wrong direction as well. The Wall Street Journal and CNN is on the right track by having title like Germany's Olaf Scholz puts business first in Beijing visit. And CNN's title of Germany's leader and top CEOs have arrived in Beijing. They need China more than ever. Well, maybe read more and being open-minded will help to really understand a piece of news and its meaning behind it. Well, that's all for today. Please subscribe to the U.S. Chinese Media Network. I will see you next time.